Guys, I have a literal David and Goliath story for you. The David in this case is Robbinsville Mayor David Freed, and the Goliath is online shopping mega giant Amazon.com. Last year, they opened a state-of-the-art facility, 1.2 million square feet in Robbinsville. I've been driving for about a mm, quarter of a mile. This building's still going over here on the side of me. The fulfillment center employs 4,000 full-time employees. This place is huge. With this facility came thousands of new jobs, but now that the holiday season is in full effect, the amount of employees at this place are creating traffic gridlock in Robbinsville and surrounding areas such as Upper Freehold. We've been very, very good about managing a lot of these Fortune 500 companies. And part of that has been we get people in on time, we do what we say we're going to do, but we also expect them to do what they say they're going to do. Uh, a resident of the Linwood Estates, which is one of the neighborhoods that is really getting affected, spoke to me today about what he's been dealing with. When you go through a shift change, roughly around 6 o'clock, you can't even get out. I mean, they literally block the road, and we sit there, and you try to edge out, and you try to edge out, they won't let you in. So it's gotten to the point where kids can't get to school on time, people can't get to work on time, and accidents have skyrocketed completely. Definitely a safety issue. You know, we had seen accident counts that normally over a two-week period, about one. Um, over the last two-week period, was 25. Now, it's said don't bite the hand that feeds you, but Mayor Freed has no choice but to threaten to sue to get Amazon to actually back off a little bit and make some changes. <laughs> and they were supposed to have a meeting on Wednesday night with top officials, but they didn't show. But the PR guy did show. PR guy is. showed nothing happened. I was elected the mayor of Robbinsville, not the mayor of Amazon. And, you know, my ultimate job is to protect my residents. So it seems that his heavy-handed tactics have actually worked. As I got to his office on Thursday, Amazon officials had just left, and they came to an agreement to stagger the shifts over a 90-minute period instead of a 30-minute period in the morning and night. They say it could decrease the traffic by 30 or 40 percent. A longer-term solution is needed, but it's nice to see local government kind of stepping up against the big guys. Is this the right tone for a mayor in New Jersey as we're projecting out across the country trying to bring jobs into the state that the minute you come in and create jobs, we're going to have a problem about traffic. Dave's in his third term and he was instrumental in bringing Amazon to Robbinsville. Both sides actually should have foreseen a bigger holiday need for more workers at this hub. Hopefully they'll do an even better job next year. I don't think he's out of line at all.